For this video, we are going to solve example number 7. That's the integral of cosecant to the power of 5x dx using the method of integration called integration by parts. Now recall that integration by parts is an integration technique applicable if the integrand contains products of algebraic and transcendental functions. But for example number 7, it's just a trigonometric function cosecant to the power of 5x dx. Now usually, we use the pattern or we use the acronym ILATE as our guide in determining which portion of the integrand would be set as u and which portion of the integrand would be set as dv. For the case here, it's just like multiplying cosecant to the power of 5x dx to 1 where the algebraic part is just equal to 1. So we can set one u equals 1 and dv is equal to cosecant to the power of 5x dx. But doing so will not change anything with our given because when we find the differential of u that's equal to 1, that would give us 0. So if our u would be set as a constant, nothing will change because we are still going to integrate dv here. And this is just our given cosecant to the power of 5x dx. So we have to express our given in such a way that we can separate this into the portions u and dv such that the u part is easily differentiated and the dv part can be easily integrated. So we are going to factor that out. We're going to express our integrand as the product between cosecant cube x and cosecant squared x dx. So this time, we have cosecant squared x dx, which is already integrable. We have already have an integration formula for this. So we set u as cosecant cube x, such that its differential is 3 cosecant squared x times negative cosecant x cotangent x dx or that du equals negative 3 cosecant cube x cotangent x dx. For our dv part, that's cosecant squared x dx, and that is integrable, giving us negative cotangent x dx. So we need u, v, and du. So we substitute to our given integral, that's u cosecant cube of x times v, which is negative cotangent x. This is a mistake. There shouldn't be any dx here. Okay, so that's just negative cotangent of x minus the integral of v, which is negative cotangent of x times du, which is negative 3 cosecant cube of x cotangent of x dx. Rearranging, that's negative cosecant cube x cotangent x minus 3 integral of cosecant cube x cotangent squared x dx. So we have here a product between cosecant and cotangent with different powers, but as we can see, the exponent of cosecant is an odd number and the exponent of cotangent is an even number. And the rules for trigonometric integrals does not apply here because of these. What we can do now is to, because the exponent of cotangent x is 2, we can express this in terms of cosecant using the identity. So that's negative cosecant cube x cotangent x minus 3 times integral of cosecant cube x times cosecant squared x minus 1 dx. Distributing negative 3, that's negative cosecant cube x cotangent x minus 3 integral of cosecant to the power of 5x plus 3 integral of cosecant cube 
x dx. So as you can see here, you have negative 3, you have cosecant cubed and cosecant squared, so that's to the power of 5. And when we multiply cosecant cubed to negative 1, that's negative. But then we multiply to negative 3, giving us positive value. So we have two integrals left. That's cosecant to the power of 5. There is a dx here, by the way. We have to rewrite this. There's a dx here plus 3 integral of cosecant cube x dx. Now remember that all of these is equal to the integral of cosecant to the power of 5x dx. Since we have two integrals left on the right side and one is very similar to what is given, we can just transpose this to the left adding the 2 because this negative 3 here will become positive when we transpose it to the left side. So we have 1 plus 3 that will give us 4. So that's 4 integral of cosecant to the power of 5x dx equals negative cosecant cube x cotangent x plus 3 integral of cosecant cube x dx. Okay, so we have one integral left on the right side. So we have to get rid of this integral, but again, this is not yet integrable because the exponent is 3. Now what we can do is to repeat the process. We integrate by parts. So let's integrate this on the right side. The integral of cosecant cube x dx can be written as the integral of cosecant x times cosecant squared x dx so we can set as we can set u as equal to cosecant x so that du equals negative cosecant x cotangent x dx and dv equals cosecant squared x dx so that integrating that v equals negative cotangent x Rewriting, we have uv, so that's cosecant x times negative cotangent x minus the integral of negative cotangent x times negative cosecant x cotangent x dx. So as you can see here, that's uv minus the integral of v du. Alright, so that's negative cosecant x cotangent x minus the integral of cosecant x cotangent squared x dx. So again, we have an integral left on the right side that is not integrable by any of the formulas nor substitution because the exponent of cotangent is even and the exponent of cosecant is odd. Uh, what we can do again is to express cotangent if, in terms of cosecant by using the identities. So that's negative cosecant x cotangent x minus the integral of cosecant x times cosecant squared x minus 1 dx. Alright, so we distribute this negative cosecant x cotangent x minus the integral of cosecant cube x dx plus the integral of cosecant x dx. Now remember that all of this is equal to negative the integral of cosecant cube x dx. So this is equal to that on the right side the same they are similar terms it's just that this, this has a negative sign so when we transpose it to the left it becomes positive so we can add the 2 giving us 2 integral of cosecant cube x dx that's equal to negative cosecant x cotangent x plus and then we integrate cosecant x dx which is ln of cosecant x minus 
cotangent x plus c and then we divide that by 2 so the integral of cosecant cube x dx equals negative 1 half cosecant x cotangent x plus 1 half ln of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c so we can now substitute this to our original integral okay we have negative cosecant cube x cotangent x plus 3 and then times we substitute cos integral of cosecant cube x is negative 1 half cosecant x cotangent x plus 1 half ln of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c we distribute that's negative 1 fourth cosecant cube x cotangent x minus 3 halves cosecant x cotangent x plus 3 halves ln of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c but take note that that is still equal to 4 integral of cosecant to the power of 5x dx wait there is still no there is no one fourth here yet we are not yet dividing so this is still a negative sign here all right so in continuation we divide everything by four so we get cosecant to the power of 5x dx equals negative one fourth cosecant cube x cotangent x minus 3 halves divided by 4 is 3 over 8 cosecant x cotangent x 3 halves divided by 4 is 3 over 8 ln of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c and that would be our final answer